Hey guys, this is Ray with Phone Arena doing a quick video review of Adobe Photoshop Touch for Android Honeycomb and Ice Cream Sandwich tablets. Uh, so Photoshop Touch is what Photoshop users have been expecting all along because you know that uh, what we had until now in the form of Photoshop uh, Express was a very very limited experience in terms of functionality. So now with Photoshop Touch we kind of get the full Photoshop experience on a tablet. We are content with the work that Adobe has done uh, in terms of optimizing the interface in order to be comfortable to use on a touch-based device like this uh, Galaxy Tab 10.1 here. Uh, as you can see, all of your options and tools are neatly arranged around the sides of the screen and nothing is really standing in your way uh, here. And in addition, uh, if some of these panes is unneeded at the moment, you can quickly hide it like this. In this review, we'll take a look at the interface that Adobe has built for Photoshop Touch and we'll see if it's comfortable to use on a tablet PC. Uh, in addition, we'll also take a look at a few uh, usage scenarios. However, this doesn't mean that some keys here or some buttons there are too small to be comfortably pressed, quite the contrary. Adobe has done a pretty good job and you can see that we can easily press these keys here, this uh, small button here and all of our main tools here to the left. So overall, we like the, the user interface of the application because you can see that it's um, intuitive and very easy to operate with. However, a slightly more difficult part comes when you have to draw or paint over your image because obviously you'll be doing this with your fingers. Uh, for example, let's say that we want to make the background uh, behind this horse black and white. For the purpose, we pick the paint tool and we choose the paint with effect mode and our effect here is black and white. We'll pick our desired brush size and we'll start painting. So as you can see we're done here and uh, our background is black and white but parts of our horse, some of the edges are black and white as well, which of course is something that we absolutely want to avoid when uh, doing professional work on uh, with Photoshop. So what we want to say here is that in order to achieve really good results, you have to do quite a bit of uh, zooming in on your image and quite a bit of panning around, changing, constantly changing brush sizes and some of the options here. It's really great that uh, with Adobe Photoshop Touch we can use some uh, more advanced tools like the uh, Magic Wand tool for example which allows us to uh, create some more complicated selections. Uh, let's say that we want to make this red stop sign appear blue. Uh, for the purpose we'll have to select all of the red areas inside the borders of the sign. So we'll use our Magic Wand tool and I'll just select an appropriate tolerance level of around 50 and I'll just tap on the red area here. However, I also want to select uh, the what's inside the O and the P here and I'll just switch to addition mode and tap on these areas as well. So what I have to do now is just open the color balance setting and adjust the color balance. I'll get rid of the red and I'll add my blue. And I'll just select deselect. And there we have it. We have a red, uh, a blue stop sign, just like that. Of course, uh, you shouldn't expect a desktop level feature set out of uh, Adobe Photoshop Touch. After all, that's an application which costs $10 uh, for Android and uh, it has its lim limitations. Uh, one of them, for example, is that when you add a new text layer and let's say that uh, we've chosen what, uh, our, what we want our text to say and when we're done manipulating it, this actually is automatically rasterized and created as a uh, rasterized la layer here so we can't further tweak the text 
here we just uh, we either have to get rid of it or add a new text layer so it doesn't stay as an editable text layer another limitation of the program is that you can't install additional let's say fonts or effects or some third-party content but uh, we hope that at least Adobe will regularly update the application in order to add additional functionality we really like Adobe Photoshop Touch. It has a relatively straightforward uh, interface with which you can get used to in a matter of minutes. And uh, it also has a very rich feature set, uh, which we hope that Adobe will update even further. Uh, but even now, it's a very capable application at a very reasonable cost of $10. Unfortunately, right now it's only available for uh, Honeycomb and Ice Cream Sandwich tablets, but Adobe promises that an iOS uh, version is coming soon. This was Ray with Phone Arena. For more details, check us out at phonearena.com.